Uh, the bottom lane has been pretty successful for, I'd say, oh, and actually. Oh, wow. Hey, Jumping in. Mushi actually managed to get S4. Teacher. I was watching the Bloodseeker get aggressive on Kuro and Artesia top, but uh, they managed to actually get the kill in the middle lane. Mushi coming up big than it already is for Team Secret. I think Asor is going to get dived on right now. Yep, Kuro is in some serious trouble. Tombstone gets laid out. Ohio trying to go for that last right click. Kuro has nowhere to run to. In fact, yeah, they even have the Arteezy is done for as well. Queen of Pain does manage to pick up the kill on S4, but... So Arteezy is going to, you know, try to set this up. And they, they might actually Johnny. Here, they right? actually bring a good amount of burst damage in. Dyer's Almost all oh, nice sleep there. Catch again, but managed to pull off the deny. And now here comes the turnaround. With the rupture already laid out, Arteezy is stuck here. And Mushi is... Uh, uh, I believe they're going to go for some they know if they're pinging. Oh, they actually yep, now they lay out the counter ward. Demartizi is going to be caught here. The rupture runs out, but Mushi's still able to get the kill with the last bit of nuke damage. And they also pick up the Rubik as well. So, no, you That's the crazy thing. The amount of farm that he has right now, for people that aren't aware, like the fact that you have a Midas power treads and 1k gold at just 11 minutes, that's fantastic regardless of what lane you are. And another kill goes, I, they are actually just being picked apart right now. Yeah, Team Secret just falling apart before. What I'd like to see right now from Fnatic is just to continue the aggression. Like I said, the next target has to be this mid tower, right? You want to just completely open up the jungle if you're Fnatic. And what they're going for right now. Oh no! Miss Sonic Wave! Mushi on characteristic mistake from him, and it looks like he's going to pay for it. A blink is up. He will actually be able to make the turnaround here as the rest of the team comes in, controls the two attackers on Mushi. Tusk as well as the Razor. Now they're going to go for Kuro as well. Came in with TP, but will immediately go down. Double kill from Mushi. Three out from TP. Team Secret. Like I said it early game, and you know, 7 to 1 and 7 minutes. Oh, catch yeah. game. Uh, good style to come out from Ohio, though. Perhaps this can set up Ohio to go for some kills. In fact, sure enough, he already stuns coming forward, but the blinding light is there, and Ohio immediately has to back himself away from that. Kuro, though, is going to be cleaned up now as Mushi comes in. <laughs> they still brought a couple heroes low. Team Secret are on the retreat back to their tier 2 towers. So yeah, Fnatic right now are just eating up all the space that Secret have, and Secret's lineup just was not designed to get behind at any phase of the game. Because you're seeing right now what's going on is that the Razor and the Clinks are just farming these new games, but they're doing it so slow. Poor Zai. Gets caught out by the Fiend's Grip with the double damage on Mushi. <laughs> I mean, it's got a low enough cooldown, but she's like, I just really don't want to use the mana. And I may find another kill in the next 30 seconds, and sure enough, that's exactly what happens. Godlike spree already for Mushi at 17 minutes as he finds another pickoff this time on Kuro. Top being had by him just yet. Fnatic making invasion into the jungle are going to grab Zai immediately. He will be the first one out. Tombstone was laid down as well, so Team Secret need to try and get away from this one. Puppy couldn't even complete his TP out. Fnatic take out two and perhaps a third. Yep, Clinks. He also falls. Mushi finds him. And that will be a one, two, three and push into tier two tower. Fnatic. Yeah, exactly, because that can definitely happen in a game of Dota. Nobody's really perfect, and so it's not ideal to rely on the mistakes of your opponents, but it's still better than what's happening right now. Arteezy going to be hit by that Fiend's grip. Mushi pops the ultimate. Arteezy will walk away with just the slightest bit of HP left. Mushi still has a blink, though. Will catch Arteezy in the end. The dust fades, but unfortunately, he's too low. The Bloodseeker. The last... uh, Light is just... It's just an annoying hero to play against. Like, once yeah. there's four staffs in the game and stuff like that, you can use the Blinding Knight light and there's like triple men off, but... Oh, Mushi gets a three-man Sonic Wave. The Snowball managed to save the Keeper of the Light for the time being, but it only provides a slight moratorium in his deck. Yeah, the the crazy thing is they haven't even gone for Roshan. Like, how often... Or actually, they have, but yeah. um, it took them so long to do it originally that they don't even need it to go high ground, is what I mean. Like, this, it's pretty unnecessary at this point. Because yeah, normally you would wait for the next Roshan before you try and push uphill, right? But it, Fnatic are just so far ahead they're gonna go uphill with the first Roshan. Yeah, they're just at this point they don't really care like i think even without the Roshan, it's just absolutely securing it in s4 last bastion of defense yeah he tries to back himself away but he just rubs himself to death with the rupture on top gyrocopter secures that last hit curl running forward straight into the tombstone doesn't really care fanatic though very much focused on objective gaming they've taken out the mid lane racks and immediately slide on up to the top lane not wanting to give team secret any room to be able to make a comeback so it seems 
Well, Team Secret, they're still going to try and fight this one out. They do not have the Razor. Clinks now has a Desolator ready to go. The Tier 3 tower is about to fall. Another blast gets laid out and does bring at least K1 X Y Love. He still has that Aegis. Good to go, though. Zion going to be slowed down. Actually forced to snowball there because he didn't want to get hit by the Silence. S4 now come to the foray. The ultimate. And the pushback there is able to get the Gyrocopter down. S4 comes forward. They managed to clean up one already. S4 drops quite low, but they can't pursue him out. Fnatic are still healthy as a full five man crew and are able to finish up that melee at Rax. It seems like they're going to be able to stick around for the range racks as well as Team Secret only operating with three heroes right now. KYXY takes just one shot before immediately there's a response from Team Fnatic. Slow down RTZ and make him asleep. The homing missile comes in, bonks him up, but Fnatic don't care. They've taken that second lane of Rax and will immediately back up to Refuel and KYXY is going to respond though. He's got his BKB. He turns and finds the rest of the team. Good snowball out. Zai is just trying to get them away from that call down area, but Mushi that cleans them up with a huge Sonic Wave. GG. Team Secret are done with this game. Incredibly one sided so win for fall. Team Fnatic. Uh, even more one sided than our first game that went to Team Secret. What the weird event. Like, turn of events that just happens there, that Team Secret have such a dominant showing in game number one, and that's sort of the way the storyline was meant to unfold, and then Fnatic strike back incredibly hard in game number two with just a really well-put-together draft and...